Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Nkoya and I'm also known as Ndinai Ja. Ja, Ja, Ja. Hello people, it's time to complete February's budget review. <clears throat> One thing about budgeting, paying off debt, getting better with money is the process of review. It's important to know what you've spent, how much you've spent, where you've spent it, in order for you to review your habits and review your behavior. So, I have here my happy planner turned, or my Erin Condren planner turned happy planner slash everyday carry and all of that. In this everyday carry, I put all my expenses for these categories that I track here, which is eating out, groceries and household, health and hygiene, my sinking funds, and gas. Now, by the middle of the month of February, for eating out, I had spent zero dollars. And as you can see, that changed in the middle of February or that changed from the middle of February. Let's go all the way in. Yes, and the reason why that changed is because, first of all, your girl was sick. I was ill, my kid was ill, there was a lot of illness going around. And yeah, so let's, let, let, let's see what damage I did. I'm hoping I stayed, I think I stayed under budget. There are a couple of numbers here that are scary so let's 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 just do the calculation shall we y'all I managed I managed wow I you know what I'm 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 almost disgusted with myself. I somehow managed to spend almost just under twenty five dollars. I mm -mm. The, the words <laughs> the words aren't coming out. The words are not coming out. Anyway, the major thing is I spent one hundred seventy five ninety four. So it's almost like oh that's not where that should be. I spent one seventy five ninety four. I just need to take these pages out of the binder so that we can see things clearly. See things clearly. Wow, I am halfway disgusted with myself. Like, wow, pero wow, you know? How? How did you, wow, just... Yeah, don't get sick. Moral of the story. Moral of the story. Actually, this Grubhub shouldn't be here because I had cash. Or I was given cash for this. Anyway, it's it's fine. So we have 200. Whoops. 200 minus 175.94. dollars and six cents. No, we're going to do better in March. No. Yes, we're going to do better in March. That's that's it. That's that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. Total, because I like to write it here also, so that when I'm looking back, I like to sometimes keep these particular sheets just to see where and, and how. I mean, just look. Ooh, wow, just a lot. Anywho, groceries and household. By the middle of the month, I had spent 274 I feel like I'm zoomed in a little too far. Okay. By the middle of the month, I'd spent two seventy four eighty. So I'm going to start from there and do the calculation. guys somehow 
between 214 and 229 your girl managed to spend 872 no 6 almost $600 almost $600 and this is because I spent a lot at Sam's and Walmart <laughs> so we're going to bust out the red pen <laughs> No, no, we're going to bust out the red pen. <gasps> ah, it's not fair. It's, yes, it is fair. Spend the money. What is it? What do they say? Do the, do the time, do the crime, whatever. I don't know what is said. But, 872.46. So we are under budget or over budget by one hundred and seventy two dollars forty six cents gas we're just going to do gas all over no we're not gonna do need to do it all over again because we have fifty eight dollars by the middle of the month that's pretty clear here and then we're adding thirty one thirty and thirty four which is 153. Ooh. At least, at least, I am under budget somewhere. Like, wow. 200 minus 153. I'm under budget. Okay, by $47. All right. Health. This one, we may be over budget because, like I said, we both were sick and... Between cold and allergies, I think I had, I ha actually had the flu. And then I also had a cold. The kid had a cold. Then he had a cough. And then allergies were all mixed up in between. It was a whole mixed up, mucky, sick mess. <sighs> okay, enough with the dramatics. We'd spent 1949 by the middle of the month. And then... The SHIT hits the fan. 5224, 5109, 3928, 2438. The budget was $80. We spent $186.48. I would just like to say thank you, Lord, that the money was there to use and it kind of makes sense now that my account was looking pretty funky by the end of the month yes I was over budget here by hundred and six dollars over budget here by hundred and seventy two dollars only under budget by about seventy dollars so eh, eh, eh. activities we, we didn't do anything because Again, we were both sick. So we would call this under budget by $50. Miscellaneous, I spent 140 on our shelves. Now, technically, because this was for the house, this could be put into the groceries and household. Sometimes when I buy things for my house, that's where I put it in. If I don't have enough money in my sinking fund, which I don't currently. So we were, I spent 140, that means we were over budget by 40 bucks. In terms of the budget review, let's get the black pen for that. And this is something I like to do. Multi, I mean, total this and total that and this minus this well the difference between this column and this column should equal this amount right so let's see 175.94 plus 872 whoops that's wow 175.94 plus 872.46 plus 153 plus 18648 plus 140 ooh equals 1500 why am i writing this with a black pen 
1,527.88. And then I'm going to put all these together and see. We're going to come up with a net negative. So we have 2406 minus 172.46 plus 47 minus 106.48 plus 50 minus 40 equals, use the pencil, 197.88. So that's the net of all these subtractions and additions. And then we take the subtraction of both of these, or take the find the difference in both of these. So we have 1527.88 minus 1330 which gives us that number net negative 197.88 I'm I wonder if I should start using these to sort of bring forward into the next budget now typically I don't share my income because I am a single income household that means, well, I'm a single income household. I, th I think that's um, self-explanatory. So I do not share my income, but I wonder if I could sort of use whatever is whatever's here as rollover because technically, I mean, it is, since I wasn't paid that amount in that particular month, it would be considered income but it's rollover or I use it as part of my buffer in my bank account. I don't know, I don't know. All right, so that's variable expenses, sinking funds, sinking funds. Do we want to go through this? I think I'll do this when I do my February, I mean my March sinking fund setup because yeah, a lot has changed also between here and now because it's, it's currently March. All right, did I do what I thought I would do in all of this? Um, my bill savings, I actually did 185. Regular savings was zero. Yeah, there's, there's only so much, there's only so much money available. Uh, my car note, I was able to do this. But then I think my credit card, I paid $80. Yeah. So that was it. I did not have any online income paid out to me this month. So that's just it. So that is the end of February. What did your February look like? Ooh, I just have too many, way too many reds. But all right. Thanks for watching, people. Uh, if this is your first time joining me, please subscribe to the channel and tell me how you did with your February budget and what you're going to change moving forward. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.